it's your girl Shamara back with another video long overdue but I'm all about stressing less so I'm here I just went to go check my mailbox and I got a whole bunch of bills and your girl went through those bills like a boss and I put some to the side that gonna have to wait and I took care of the ones that I could take care of right now so see how that works and I'm feeling great about it but I used to be a stress monger I used to worry about what was gonna happen a year from now two years from now um, what was gonna happen tomorrow things that I were out of my control and it really wrecked habit on my body so as we all know stress is a monster a monster that tiptoes though it doesn't stomp around it's not loud it's silent within the body and it kills you slowly from the inside out stress goes to attacking parts of the organs um, your heart your liver your spleen sorry I meant to say parts of the body your organs but you guys know what I meant you know we ain't about to stress that right so um, stress looks for triggers and some triggers include, but aren't limited to, constant change, finances, um, loss of a job, death, multitasking, trying to take care of family and friends, challenges, technology, social media. Social media, stressful? <laughs> yeah. By now, stress has found a home inside of your body and it's comfortable and cozy and it doesn't have any plans on moving out anytime soon, which leads to anxiety and depression. Tell me about your physical health. Do you have cold and flu symptoms a lot? Do you get headaches, migraines, insomnia, can't fall asleep for nothing? You don't try counting sheep, your kids, the amount of clothes in the laundry basket, I mean, nothing's working. Let's discuss the emotional aspects of stress, anxiety, depression, like I said, anger, irritability, feelings of helplessness, lack of purpose. How about trouble keeping relationships? Do, does that sound like you at all? Last but certainly not least is poor eating habits, reckless driving, abuse of good old drugs and alcohol, prescription meds, all that. Being accident prone. How about showing aggression towards people that clearly haven't done anything to you? Not to mention stress has no inviting welcome spot inside of the body. So while it's thriving and living in there, your body is going about trying to produce hormone called cortisol to attack this stress. But what happens is stress is <laughs> immune to all that, okay? It's stress. I mean, what are you gonna do to it? So pretty much your body starts producing all this cortisol and it becomes toxic and it starts eating away at your prefrontal cortex in your brain. Your prefrontal cortex is responsible for memory. It's re responsible for learning. Um, it also goes right away, um, right away attacking your bone density. Um, it increases your blood pressure. Hence, you go to the doctor and your blood pressure sky high and the doctor's like, hey, you need a blood pressure pill. No, I just need to stop stressing. But your heart definitely causes heart disease, um, increases cholesterol, all that, which eventually will kill you. So I ask you this one question, whatever is going on in your life right now, I want you to just sit back and ask yourself, is it worth me? Is it worth your death? I mean, everything that goes on. So you get a phone call, you know, your best friend passed. That's really, really stressful. But me personally, I would have to get down on my knees because I'm a spiritual person and I would pray about it. And I would ask for healing. Some people turn to prescription medications and that doesn't make anything better. I do all natural remedies that don't cause side effects. Um, something that I won't have to be dependent on for the rest of my life because I'm helping my body and I'm helping it combat stress. Once you start introducing poisons, which medications are into your body, it lowers your body's defenses and it makes it hard to fight off, you know, stress in general. So all those pills that you're popping and you're wondering why you're even worse and you're more depressed and you're gaining weight, it's because you're not getting to the root of the problem. See, like I said in my post, the doctors are there 
to treat your symptoms. So if you come in and you say you have insomnia, they're gonna give you a sleeping pill. You say you have headaches, they're gonna give you something for headaches. You say, you know what I'm saying, your leg's been bothering, you've been having this weird pain in your leg, they might give you some narcotics. But nothing is getting to the root of the problem, which is the stress. So again, before you start stressing all this nonsense, ask yourself, is it worth it? And while you're doing that, like the video. I mean, I'm stressing about that. So can you guys put my calms at ease and like the video? It's really important to my success. And if you can comment below, that would be great. Interaction is awesome. You know, talk about it, get it out. How can I help you? I will find resources for you. If you're struggling with something, let me know. Let, you know, inbox me. It doesn't have to be on this post. I am here to help people. If you have anything negative to say underneath the comments, I'm gonna ignore it, I'm gonna delete you, and you're gonna be irrelevant. Because we don't need that right now. We need positive people, we need encouragement, we need motivation. You know, there are people out here that are suffering for no reason, just because people are just so cruel. So can you share the heck out of this video so that I can stop stressing too? You know what I'm saying? You helping your girl out, yes. See, it's all about being happy. So anyway, though, thank you guys so much for listening. And again, like, comment, share.